How's it going guys? Welcome to another brand new video here on TCG OMG. And today, oh, finally, we got something like near enough to release date. The postman was like, Shane, I know you, I know you are super obsessed with Pokemon cards. I will get this to you on time, I swear. It kind of did, it was a day late and I had to go, go to the post office, so I guess he didn't really do that at all. But that's besides the point. Team up. I, I have been waiting so long for this, you guys, you don't even, you don't even know. Um, I don't really know the whole entire set list for this particular set, um, but what I do know is there is a Mimikyu and a Gengar card in it. Um, well, Mimikyu and Gengar, of course, like the whole point of this is that we've got Team GX cards, so that's going to be amazing. Um, Pokemon Team Up for Battle Tag Team Pokemon GX are here. Brand new cards that feature paired up and powered up pokes. Um, this It's just going to be amazing, I'm so excited. There's all the gubbins you get in it. That doesn't matter because we're about to break into this and I will show you what is inside. Let's go! I can already tell you I am absolutely in love with the box art on this. It's kind of like, they've been doing it like a couple of sets now, you get that kind of glossy and the matte kind of effect on it. But you guys know, as we always do, because we're doing like one of every single Elite Trainer Box ever, because, you know, I have more money than sense, or just not a lot of money and not a lot of sense either. There's the player's guide, we'll get to that in a minute. Um, yeah, we always go through like every little detail of these, so let's see what the glue's like on this. Brand new. Hopefully it's not going to be too sticky. Alright, we didn't destroy it. Perfect. So, here's the uh, the pack art, the kind of like big versions of the pack art. We've got Pikachu and Zekrom there. That's of course like the, you know, it's Pikachu, it's going to be the main card. There is the one that we super, super like really need. Uh, Mimikyu and Gengar. Um, I've got Mimikyu is kind of like up there, checking out, like, making sure that we're uh, getting the pulls that we deserve, the pulls that we need. Of course, we've got Venusaur and Celebi. That that I've seen in a in a full art. It looks amazing. And then Eevee and Snorlax as well, because you know you couldn't have a new Pokemon set without pushing Eevee to within an inch of its life. But that's that's irrelevant. Um, we like Eevee. Don't you know? Don't I'm not hating on Eevee. I just you know. There's a lot of Eevee at the moment. So, player's guide, what do we get in here? Well, you got the usual kind of stuff. Like, they'll go through the cards. They always do. Um, there. Oh! Um, Latios and Latias GX as well, of course. That's pretty cool. And oh, that towering splash box set, which I did get as well. Um, Magical, Magic Carp and Well Lord. Um, okay, cool. So, there's Prism Star cards in it. That's nice. And some normal, um, they say, six Super Powerful GX. So there are some regular GX cards in this, um, so not every single card you pull is going to be a, 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 a GX tag team. And then we've got the, the whole set list thing going on here, but the most important part, the crucial, um, crucially important pages here, the full arts, that that Magikarp and Whale Lord is just absolutely to die for, of course, Mimikyu and Gengar. So there's two full art um, Magikarp and Whale Lord, that's really interesting. Okay, cool. Alright, nice. It's weird, like... Okay, there's there's two of every team up. That's... That's pretty cool. Or every team... I don't know, there's only one, like, Eevee and Snorlax. A couple of Latios, Latias. Interesting. Interesting to see what they've done with the... The full arts and stuff here. Rainbow Rares as well, of course. Hooper, like... I think Hooper's going to be pretty cool as well. Of course, um, Morgan and Sabrina Suggestion are two pretty cool cards. I think Morgan was quite an expensive card in Japan. I think it went for quite a lot. And gold cards as well. Gold cards keeping on the theme of um, putting a whole bunch of money cards in the set. Um, I didn't check to see how many cards total are in the set. Oh, look at that box as well. It's seriously cool. Um, yeah, I didn't... Um, I didn't check how many cards are actually in this set, but um, I've got a feeling it's going to be significantly less than Lost Thunder, which is a good thing. Let's be honest, it's nice having a whole absolute metric ton of um, of Pokemon cards in a set, but it's not that great when you're trying to collect them all, because if you're going to end up buying singles, it costs a lot of money. Um, sleeves, there you go, with the pretty standard. Um, come with the Elite Trainer box art on them. New type energy cards, worth paying a bit of attention to the energies this time around because there's kind of new artwork on them. It, it, it does look pretty cool, it's nice, good to see them kind of kind of changing that up a little bit, that's always good. 
keep it fresh. Um, there's the box code, Elite Trainer Box uh, team up. Um, you will basically get, I assume, some card sleeves in in game, and that's probably oh, uh, and the boosters as well. I think normally you get the boosters. I don't even know what you get these days. Card dividers, those are pretty cool. Um, again, got the kind of box art on them. Still nice. It's always good to get these in a box because, you know, some people don't have them. A tag team GX flip, that's cool. That's really cool, actually. Um, and your poison damage counters. And then, uh, the all important tournament legal dice set, or die set, with the team up logo there, kind of black and yellow. Uh, you know what it is. Um, that's cool, keeping the Pikachu and Zekrom theme going. So that was that. This is this. Uh, eight packs. Um, let's get into them. Pack order is super important, as I always tell you. So Mimikyu and Gengar, we're going to take that one, put it at the back. And uh, hopefully that will bring us all of the lux. No guarantees, though. Um, although saying that, last video, if you haven't seen it already, the last pull, last pack on that was Captain Insano. Um, so... Man, you've got to check that out. Oh, okay. Already, I'm seeing the artwork, and I'm I'm a big fan. Code cards go that way around, and I'm guessing it's going to be fourth in the back because sun and moon. So, if it isn't, oh well. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's uh, move you in a little bit, let's sort the focus out, and let's get to unboxing Tag Team GX, guys. Ah, oh, man, like, are you excited? I am. I'm like way too excited for this set. So we start things off with an energy card that we've already seen, but never mind. Flaffy, that's, God, oh, that artwork. It's getting better and better. Oh, nice, Jinx, Kangaskhan, Larvitar, that's amazing. I really like that. That background just looks awesome. Strange, uh, like, I don't know, just weird, but. Psyduck, we got a Vullaby, Weedle, Helioptile. Reverse Nidoran. This is going to be weird unboxing something that's not got a guaranteed hollow in it after Shining Legends last month. What is it? A Lolan Executor. <laughs> Alright, cool. Interesting. Like, art style on these is, um, I don't know, they've really upped their game. Like, it's a. Uh, there's a lot of really, really good art on these cards. Not that we don't usually get good art on, um, on Pokemon cards, but, um,. The artwork on these ones just seems to be kind of next level. Which is nice, you know? Because sometimes you get sets where there's just kind of janky artwork on some of the cards. And it's a bit like, uh Steel-type energy looks cool. Jasmine. One of the nice new trainer cards. Dragonair. That looks really good. Although I'm kind of sick of Dragonair and, and Torokan and everyone else after, like, um, Dragon Majesty. <laughs> Weedle. Another Helioptile. We've got an Execute. Ferrisseed. That's... That looks really cool, actually. The whole kind of cell shading going on. Dratini reverse and Kabutops. Wow, okay, not seen that in a, a little while. Nice to see Kabutops making a comeback. So, 0 for 2 so far. What is this pack, anyway? It's a Pikachu and Zekron pack. Let's see. I mean, if you guys haven't already, like, opened an Elite Trainer Box, supposedly the pull rates are bumped. Um, so you're kind of a little more likely to get a um, hyper rare or a secret rare or something like that in these. So, fingers crossed, Cosmo. I mean, could we like, oh, that Hitmonchan's amazing. Do, do you reckon we could pull Mimikyu and Gengar in this part, like in part one? What would we do? I've got a whole like booster box sat there. <laughs> We'd just have to end it, that would be it. That would be like team up completely done. Brock's Grit, oh, that art is amazing. Shuffle six and any combination of basic Pokemon and energy cards. That was um, that was quite big in evolutions when it was a pre-release. And Pinsa. It's weird, like all the retro kind of um, retro rares coming in clutch. Next pack, Venusaur and Celebi. Oh for three so far. Like we gotta up our game right now. Let's go, Carl, for you. If you guys have taken the code cards um, and you do get anything good, let me know because um, my luck on the TCGO is always abysmal um, and it would be nice to know that the cards that I give out actually get people decent decent pulls. <laughs> Farfetch, Cosmo, a Dragon, a Dragon, a Lolan Grimer, pretty good looking. 
Ponyta, Mareep. Got a charm. Oh, that Charmander. That's amazing. It's kind of like sort of chibi. That's so cool. Burning down the forest. On edge. <laughs> I was like, what the heck is that? Didn't even know what it was. Interesting angles. A Taurus reverse. And come on. Come on, would you? Oh, oh yes. All right. First GX of Team Up is Incineroar. 250 on the hit points. With Scar Charge once during a turn, before you attack, you may put three damage counters on this Pokemon. If you do, search your deck for three Darkness type energy cards and attach them to this Pokemon, then shuffle your deck. 250 hit points is nuts. Mind you, I guess you need it if you've got that ability. Crushing Punch, 130. Discard a special energy from your opponent's active Pokemon. And Darkest Tornado GX for 10 plus does 50 damage, uh, 50 more damage for each damage counter on this Pokemon. Okay, so yeah, it's all about stacking. That's cool. Nice. All right, feeling good. One for four. Ugh. Not seen a hollow card yet either, actually, funnily enough. Totally, completely unaware of what the hollow cards are in this set. I'm so sorry. I haven't been keeping like I've been watching a lot of the Japanese um, unboxings that people have been doing. Guys like Max Mofo, Hungry Cabagon, like. But I just kind of I don't. It doesn't go in. If you know what I mean, it doesn't go in here. I don't remember. <laughs> Rapidash, return label. <laughs> so weird and wonderful. Mareep, that's good looking. Good looking card. Another Charmander. I might put one of those to the side. Actually, I really like that Pidgeotto. That's awesome. Looking all melancholy on his branch. Nidoran. We got a Judge Whistle. You guys know I love a Reverse Trainer card. And okay, you guys are gonna be like, "What? Seriously?" But this, this is cool. Filch and Copycat. Nice. So it's kind of a, repr a reprint of uh, previous Mimikyu cards, but um. Still, like, I love Mimikyu. I love Mimikyu. Like, you know, if we're not going to get a Hollow and we're not going to get a GX, I'm quite happy we got a Mimikyu. <sighs> okay, well, this is a Mimikyu and a Gengar pack. So, it's not the last pack yet by any means. Still got a few to go. But, can, can we do it? Can we pull, like, a full art trainer card, like, Something. Something better than just a regular GX. Come on, let's kick off team up with a, a real bang. I don't know. kind of want a boom. Tentacle, Grimer. Pidgey. Dratini. Got a Pornyard. Reverse Lapras. And, okay, holographic. I would take that. Dragonite. Completed the evolution chain. With fast call, once during the turn before you attack, you may search your deck for a support card, reveal it, put it into your hand, and shuffle your deck. And Dragon Claw. So they're obviously going for a kind of water electric vibe. Oh, what's um what's Pikachu and Zekrom? Is that darkness and electric? I don't know. Does this mean like in the meta now we're gonna see more decks with like not just multiple, like not just like two types of energy cards, but you reckon we're gonna see like decks that have got splashes of other energies in like I don't know it could be interesting the team up thing kind of pushes you towards multiple um, multiple types of energy so metal goggles or gold up grass memory of course the Sil Valley memory disc things like they're a thing Dratini we've got another Pornyard another Alolan Grimer we're starting to see a lot of doubles now Ponyta nice reverse rare Omastar that's cool. Good to get. Good to get. And. Well. Well. <laughs> it's a Parasect. Meh. Never mind. Right. Final pack then. It's all come down to this. Can we do it? Yet again. Can Captain Insano strike? It would be pretty incredible if we did. I won't lie. Like. We're on like three or four videos in a row now. Where we've put a card to the back and it's been the captain and say no card for the part pretty much so let's see i don't know our our pull rates out of this elite trainer box have not been fabulous darkness type energy we've got an ingo and emmet those guys that's some dodgy dodgy coats a charmeleon all right we're seeing some new cards morgan nice 
don't know that it, is it going to be playable do you reckon only play this card if you discard Dana, Evelyn and Nita look at the top 12 cards of your deck and attack any number of energy cards you find there to your Pokemon anywhere you like shuffle the other cards I don't know I don't know is that going to be playable mm. it's tough it requires a lot of setup Pidgeotto and Nidoran Cosmog Magical Carp Azora a reverse Helioptile and a Bisharp. Wow. Well, that was kind of like. It was a bit mediocre as an elite trainer box, really. Like, I mean, we've basically completed the set, though. Look. Well, how many cards were there in the set? 181. Okay, there's still quite a few. Still quite a few. But, yeah, I mean, wow. For an elite trainer box, that's surprisingly chaff balls, really. Anyway, I'm going to sort these out. I'll be back with the recap. One hour later. And what a recap it is. Kind of not really. <laughs> Um, Dragonite Hollow. It's nice. I like the artwork. I think it's a really cool Hollow. Um, but yeah, Incineroar GX. Yeah, that was it. I mean, that kind of sucks. I was so excited for Team Up, and and that's kind of put a downer on it. But don't panic, all right? Don't panic because we're gonna be back on Wednesday of this week. I've got this, Ugh. in which we are guaranteed a full art or a secret rare or something crazy. So. Uh, that's going to take the edge off of this terrible Elite Trainer box. I might have to get another one. Um, I don't know, just to see if the pull rates are really that bad. <laughs> That's pretty poor. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, ding the bell, all the usual nonsense that everyone always says. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya!